What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the AGHB channel. Uh, today, we're going to do things a little bit differently. We're going to go over the six essential upgrades for every short rider. If you're doing enduro, trail riding, any sort of difficult or slow technical terrain, uh, these are going to be the best upgrades to do on your bike at any point in time, although probably better before you start riding. I've got my 2020 TE 250 sitting here. I haven't even cleaned it. I'm giving this to you guys in its rawest form. As I go over each part today, you're going to see the condition that this bike is in and then you're also going to see the condition each part is in. So you're going to see the normal wear and tear and this is over a year of riding. So you're going to notice a lot of scratches, dents, um, like nicks here and there. That's kind of what happens when you're a short rider or if you're not a pro, which I am not a pro, I'm just your average Joe, but I guess your average girl. So if you guys are anything like me, this is more than likely what your bike could and might look like if you're a short rider or uh, my skill level, which I would consider maybe like a intermediate. So first and foremost, we are going to start with number one, which is the Enduro Engineering lowered seat. This seat has a bit of a curve down here, so it's like essentially a step seat. It's going to add an additional inch to the seat height or sorry take away additional inch to your seat height so if your bike is at 35 inches it's going to put you at 34 inches so this is a great great affordable seat that comes in at about 170 dollars if you don't have the funds to lower your suspension or maybe you can't get it done yet it's best to just put the seat on right away then that way you can get an inch right away right off the bat before you do anything else that's going to cost you a little bit more money all right, coming in number two is the AXP Extreme Skid Plate. This skid plate is eight millimeters thick, which is actually two millimeters more than the traditional MX skid plate. It's made of a polyethylene, which means it does not vibrate, it does not deform, it doesn't dent because there's a lot more flex. So it allows the skid plate to sort of move. And that way when you're riding, if you hit some rocks, it doesn't rattle. You don't get that rattling sound that you normally would with aluminum. So I went ahead and went with this and I'm just going to show you guys really quick. So if you take a look at the skid plate here, this is over a year's worth of riding. So you can see the scratch marks here. It's not bad at all. There's obviously some scrapes here and there, but overall this skid, this skid plate is highly, highly durable for the amount of, I guess, crashes that it's been through in the last year. Now on to number three, we're going to talk about the radiator guards. As a short rider, you're basically going to be dropping your bike a lot. You're going to be skimming rocks on the side. You're going to be falling into things. Most of the time it's just tipping over, but I mean, radiator guards are very, very important. That way you don't dent your radiators when you drop your bike on the side right here. I went ahead and took off the stock radiator so I can kind of stock radiator guards so I can show you guys exactly what I had and what I'm going to be changing it to. This is the trail tech radiator guard that I had on my bike and I ended up taking it off because of multiple reasons. One is this company makes radiator guards as a universal fit rather than an exact fit. So what that means is when you buy a set of these and put them on, you're going to have to trim your plastics a little bit. So if you can take a look in here, this is essentially right here where all the dirt is. This is where I had to trim my plastics. On the edge here, it protrudes out farther so the holes don't line up unless you trim the plastics to make it fit. Not only that, but the Trail Tech only has two tabs here and here. It has no side protection whatsoever, which after a few hard drops, I've already cracked off a piece of the radiator guard. So I would not recommend these at all. These were about $180, but for the same price, you could get the Emperor Racing skid plate. 
This skid plate is one piece. It looks sort of heavy, but it's actually not. It's only two and a half pounds. And because it's one, one piece, it's actually a lot more durable and has a lot more strength. And the best part is there's no trimming required. It's actually made to fit your bike. The sides here, you could tell that there is side protection, uh, which is highly, highly important. I didn't think it was that important before until I dropped my bike. And on the left radiator, it's slightly dented. And that's how I lost that little piece off of the Trail Tech one. So if you guys have the money, I highly recommend getting the Emperor Racing. It's not as expensive as Bulletproof Designs, but the one piece design is something that I'm really, really looking forward to trying out. And I've heard nothing but great reviews about this. So I highly recommend that you guys take a look into it, do your own research. And obviously if you believe it as much as I do and you're, you go and get one, I think this would probably be my best bet. Okay, so coming in at number four is the discard. So we're gonna do front and rear together as a set. But I got the SRT rear one. I got this in blue. It was about $95. I don't recommend getting a color unless you really, really want to. But once you start using it, these scratches are gonna start coming through and maybe it doesn't look as good. If you don't mind that, then by all means, get whatever color you want. I kind of wish I went with silver instead of blue, but I wanted that little bit of pop of color. You could also get Bulletproof Designs, which is a lot more expensive that comes in around $130. So maybe if that's not what you're trying to spend, SRT works well. Just make sure that it's actually CNC in the back instead of plastic, which will offer a lot more protection. And it's gonna keep you from damaging your disc when you're out riding, when you're hitting those rocks, squeezing in between little tiny spaces because you're short and you need to put your legs on the outside rocks. That's where uh, this comes in really, really handy. There's more than enough times that I've just scraped by rocks trying to squeeze into little spaces that I probably shouldn't be going into. For the front, I went with Bulletproof Designs because I went onto eBay and I went and looked around. There was a guy selling one for about $60 obviously it was used it had a couple of scratches here and there but overall it was not warped it had, he had barely even used it and quite honestly after the first ride you're going to get a couple scratches on it anyway so if you don't mind that and you still want to go with a company like bulletproof designs i highly recommend looking on ebay i mean after all these things are very very durable and you're going to have them for a long time it's going to take a lot to actually destroy one of these things so if you don't want to spend $130, which they normally are, go look on eBay. You could probably find one for 60 or maybe a little bit more or less, give or take. But overall, very, very important to have this because a warped disc is probably one of the worst things that you're going to want to deal with. Number five, bar ends. Aluminum bar ends from ODI. You can get a set of these for about $18. And I'm telling you, with the amount of times that I've dropped my bike, the amount of grips I've gone through, this is a very, very, very cheap upgrade to add to your bike just to ensure that you're not purchasing grips every week. It's super easy to put on. You might have to cut the end of your grip off. If you have ODIs, you have to cut off the end of the plastic on the, on the throttle tube and the tube on this side. And then you just screw it in. Super easy, takes about five minutes to do for $18. I have used this for the last year. You can see how scratched up and how used it is. And I haven't even had to replace them yet. Obviously, if you want them to look a, bit, a little bit nicer over some time, uh, then you could get another set for about $18. But this is probably the cheapest and best purchase that I've done for this bike since the day I bought it. Okay. Last but not least, coming in at number six is suspension. Suspension is one of the most important things that you could do on your bike. As a short rider, you know that your legs are a lot shorter than everyone else's, and because of that, you're a smaller person, so therefore you probably weigh less as well. I got my suspension done. I took it to a suspension shop. For me, I went to TBT Racing. If you're in California, Southern California, I highly recommend looking up TBT Racing. I went there and I got my suspension lowered by one inch and then I also swapped out all the springs and had it tuned for my weight. So if you add the suspension one inch drop plus the seat another inch drop plus the weight that it's actually tuned for, is probably another inch you're looking at. I took off three inches off of 
the stock height of this bike, but it doesn't mess with the geometry because realistically only one inch of the suspension was taken off. So that's how I do it. I still tiptoe on both sides. I can't flat foot entirely unless I scoot my butt over, but hey, that's way better than not being able to touch the ground at all. And that concludes today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, please make sure to leave a like down below just so that I know that you guys like seeing videos like this and maybe I can make more stuff based off my own experiences. And again, I'm not a pro rider, so anything that you saw today, these are based off of what I've been through in the last year, what I know in the last year of riding this bike with these parts. I'm also gonna be leaving links in the description down below with prices for everything that I talk about in today's video. Other than that, I freaking love you guys, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Peace. I be that young rapping dude, might just trap with you. Coming with the thunder, baby, might just clap it crew. I roll out in the morning light, whip that Harley bike, all black. I'm the party type, and it's on tonight. I just stepped in no weapons, but my outfit might take the soul. See my presence impressive.